internet! So I'm Laura Vitale for the day today. Um, in case you've never heard of her, she's one of my favorite chefs on YouTube. She does some great recipes. Um, she's Italian. I'm part Italian. I love to see a young woman in the kitchen enjoying herself um, who likes to eat. I feel like that's getting rarer and rarer nowadays. Um, and so I thought I would do a look recreating especially her eyeshadow but just overall her hair and um, eyeshadow and makeup look um, because I think it's just so pretty and different and it's sort of very taupey but it has a little bit of silver and plum to it. It's very wearable. I've watched kind of all of her videos. All of the comments now more and more asking her to do her makeup look just because it is so gorgeous and she hasn't done it yet I really hope she does someday um, but until she does I thought I would do a look inspired by her so that you guys can kind of recreate her eye look if you want to if you don't know who she is or anything like that that's fine I did link um, her channel um, in the information below in case you want to know um, but in general this is just a really pretty sort of ballerina look um, with a really plummy wearable taupey eye and I really enjoy that just before I get right into telling you how I did the makeup I'm just gonna go over my accessories you guys know when I do a look I go all out I go big or go home kind of like you should with cooking to draw a little compares in there. Um, so for my sweater, Laura likes to wear a lot of grey tones. They really suit her. Um, this is just a cowl neck sweater that I got at the Saks Fifth Avenue outlet. It has a little bit of cable knit going on. It's very soft and warm and comfortable. I definitely wear this in the kitchen. Um, and then I'm just wearing my little Tiffany studs. She does wear a lot of sort of pearl or silver earrings that are smaller on the ear and I really like that. And then I'm just wearing my usual high button that I've just kind of pulled out a little bit more to make it look a bit bigger. Um, this overall look is inspired by one particular look especially that is in her intro. So if you want to go see that you can. It's kind of within the first two minutes of her videos you can see she's like making a cake and she literally has like a Kalnick sweater in grey with this exact eye look um, or as close as I can get to it. Alright, so let's get started. First of all, I'm going to use one of my new favorites. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadow in Tough as Taupe. And you can see it's a really neat, non-shimmery, creamy, taupey color. Um, right along something that Laura would use. Of course, we know that she doesn't use it because it didn't exist when she started wearing this um, sort of eye look. But I think it works great for this. So I'm just going to tap that all over my lid right up to the crease blends in really really well it's super super creamy and as always the creamy part doesn't have to be perfect at all because we're just gonna top it with eyeshadow So I'm actually using a combination of drugstore and high-end products. Um, first of all, we're going to go in. These are the old Revlon Color Stay eyeshadows. I know they've come out with some new ones, but I still really like these. And this is the number 13, Lavender Meadow. And I'm going to go in with just this second shade. And it's a definite dupe for MAX um, Parfait Amour, um, which is a really popular, beautiful periwinkle purple. Um, so if you have that, then use that, um, but this is what I have. And I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy paddle brush. This one's just from Sephora, but it's very similar to one from MAC. And I'm going to tap that all over the eyelid. We're basically topping a darker base with a lighter eyeshadow, and that might seem a little bit strange, but actually it sort of creates a bright but plummy look um, and to me like I've tried a bunch of different combinations and this is the one that works to recreate her look best. Next I'm going to go in with the plummy taupey color of my choice. This is definitely kind of the most important product for this look um, to recreate the tone and 
look of her eyeshadow. Um, this particular one is called Pewter, and it's from Lorac, so it's a high-end eyeshadow. Um, I think Tapestry Taupe from CoverGirl would work as well. I do like this a little bit better, though, which is why I decided to use it. It is very similar to MAC's um, Satin Taupe, but it's a little bit more wearable for me because it has more silvery plumminess and less brownness to it if that makes any sense um so if sometimes you find um satin taupe hard to wear this is actually a really really good alternative that i've been loving for years and i'm just gonna go in with a dome shape brush this is a sigma brush but it's like a 217 tap that into pewter and go into the crease and apply a generous amount of this blending it right into the Revlon eyeshadow and basically going up quite a bit um, and blending out any line from the Toughest Taupe primer that we used. The very popular Shimmering Sands trio that I know a lot of people have and this sort of champagne-y pink color um, at the outer edge makes a great highlight color. And I'm just gonna brush that into the inner eye corner and a little bit along the brow bone. And you guys are probably like really grossed out by the fact that I use the same brush that went into pewter like two seconds ago. This is actually a really neat little trick that I've developed. If you use the same brush that you used in your crease to apply your highlight, and it's not something very dark, that little bit of color that is left over will make your job at blending so much easier and faster and you'll get a sort of more mid-tone highlight that looks a little bit more natural and less frosty than it would otherwise and it really really sort of makes my job easier blending out any line around where the primer and the crease shade stop because there's already a little bit of that darker pigment on the brush Strange, I know, but it works really, really well, and I highly recommend you try that little trick. Um, so I'm going to go in with a single eyeshadow from CoverGirl. This is a bright, frosty silver, and it's called Disco Ball, um, almost appropriately enough. And I'm just going to go in with my middle finger and just rub a little bit of that into my finger and make sure that there's not too much excess. And then just press it into the middle of my eyelid. And this will just make your eyes look bigger and brighter and it will brighten that purple and the silver in this eyeshadow will kind of tie the whole eye look together. It makes, honestly, like I don't know whether the camera will catch it or not, but it makes a really big difference to this eye look. Going from where my lashes start, as close to the lash line as possible, you don't want it to be thick. And I feel like black eyeliner is like salt or seasoning to a dish. You can always add more, but you can't take it out, at least not easily, so. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of brown liner. It's hard to tell what Laura wears on her lower lash line. Her eyes are quite bright, so I don't think she wears anything in the waterline. I'm just going to use my Maybelline Master Drama in bold brown. This holds up really well, so it would be good to cook with. Just lightly line in between my lashes with this meeting the black so there's not so they kind of meet and blend into each other and stop about two-thirds of the way in you can see that's quite light it's not this isn't a very dark smoky look at all you don't want too much darkness going on it's because i always feel like i want to tie everything together i'm going to go back in with pewter and a concealer brush one of my favorite brushes to do um, outer V's and blending of eyeliner and just dip the tip right into it. This brush is from Sigma. It's an SS194 by the way. I love it. It's one of my favorites. And using my brush on its flat side, I'm just going to go in between the lashes and blend some of that eyeliner out so it's even a little bit softer and has a little bit of that plummy sparkle that I love so much to it as well underneath the eye. I'm going to go in with my favorite mascara which is L'Oreal Voluminous. I've just started using this again and I wonder why I ever stopped. I'm 
one of my favorite blushes um, from, I don't know, when I was in college. You can see how beaten up this is. This is Plum Foolery by MAC, and it's a definite plum, which is surprisingly flattering. And I'm just going to apply that on the outside of the apples of my cheeks. You don't want to bring it in too much. Um, I definitely don't think she has a an overly pop of color look going on with her blush so it's just mostly focused on the outside coming in applied relatively high finally to give it to give the skin a little bit more of a luminized look um, and a sort of glowiness like you would after cooking something hot I'm just gonna apply one of my favorite highlighters oops you can see that actual title of it has worn off, but this is also from Lorac, and it is the Perfectly Lit Spotlight Illuminizer, and I really, really like this. It's a sort of flesh-toned highlighter without too much shimmer, and it's very forgiving, so I'm actually going to even apply a little bit right here to blend any of that blush in and create more of a sort of luminized look. You can see it sort of catching the light, but it's not glittery at all. Probably my favorite highlighter of all time. I really love this. Happy with the way my skin looks. Um, and finally, Laura definitely has that kind of your lips but better look going on. In the occasional video, she will wear more of a pop of color, like a raspberry kind of shade. And her lips always look really nice and moisturized. Again, I don't think this is what she actually uses because it didn't exist when she started wearing this look. Um, but it's definitely along the same lines. So I'm going to be using my Revlon Lip Butter in Pink Truffle. If you wanted to do the pop of color, look that she has going on sometimes I would definitely recommend raspberry pie because it's just that beautiful kind of fuchsia um, so I'm gonna go in with this You can see how easy to apply that is. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It's been really fun to kind of be Laura Vitale for a day. I'm really, really happy with the way this look turned out. I think it's really wearable and glowy and plummy. And I'm probably going to go off and eat something now. Um, I will see you guys later um, in my next video. Bye!